Jazz Ensemble 1, uh, we're going to play. I'm sorry, I should have mentioned, should have mentioned again real quickly. How about another hand from the chorus and Ms. Gallery? Uh, as I am in and out of the class and here and then during last period each day, the, the musical improvements that they made just they just get better and better and better. And uh, we're really proud of them and real, real fortunate to have Ms. Gallery with us here. Thank you, Davidson. for you is called Doxy. It's by Sonny Rollins, who uh, was, uh, as we found out from Mr. Keefer the other day, he does a lot with jazz history. Sonny Rollins was uh, tired of gigging. He played the same gigs night after night. He wasn't getting any better. So he quit and became, uh, I guess, basically homeless. Lived on the street under a bridge and played for two years. And uh, honing his own skills and trying to get better, and he did, and then he finally came back, and that's when he really made it big. So I guess the moral of the story is, don't, yeah. Now it was a bridge down by the river, I think. <laughs> Got you. One.
fellows. The rules become, as the music becomes more difficult, difficult, the rules of what you can and can't do become more difficult, and the notes that will won't work, or the notes that won't work become a larger list. I'm really proud of these guys for, for all their efforts in that area. At that time, you heard Brad Luther, Daphne Bodenheimer, Freddie Reyes, Elijah Paul, uh, Joseph George Wilson. And in the rhythm section, we've got Keaton Everhart on guitar. Jonathan Wilton on bass, welcome back to school. Cameron Terry's on auxiliary percussion. Hanging out with Wings, you just heard Austin Hobbs on drum set. And Alex Walk is going to play drum set on this Duke Ellington tune called Caravan.
expect quite a semester. Everybody you see in front of you participated in a little uh, marching band show we did this year, you might have heard. And, uh, they also all participated in playing the State Music Educators Convention. I think all, almost all of them, if not all, tried out for it. Most of them made the all-county band. We just had a whole lot going on. We're looking, I'm looking forward to next semester when we can really dig down uh, even more into some new tunes and new literature. You okay there, Cassidy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My song called Flying by the Light. Uh, next semester we'll be going to the jazz festivals at UNC uh, Charlotte, uh, possibly Elon University, and Unfortunately, we're not going to go to the UNC in one this year uh, because they're doing it during spring break. So we may just have our own jazz festival down at the beach if you want to come with us. Uh, <laughs> next piece we've got for you, we're going to take you back to the mid to late 70s. A tune called, or uh, by a group called Spiral Gyro, which is a, just a group of eight of guys his age who just in, the, in their garage, instead of playing uh, you know, heavy metal or beach music or whatever, They've got a really uh, sort of a pre-jazz funk fusion sound going. You've heard their music, you just you may not know it. Uh, Spyro Java wrote this song, it's called Catch the Sun.
We're going to end our concert with a piece called Jumping in the Woodside. We're going to feature uh, Austin Hobbs on the drum set. Um, woo! <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank everybody, particularly the parents, for, for supporting our band uh, so much this semester. And uh, thank Ms. Gallard and Chorus for our two concerts we've done together. And wish everybody a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Thanks for coming. Thank you.